construction site in Cottbus has craftsmen representing more than 30 professions, although many are no longer doing what they were trained to do. The site supervisor has a constant struggle to keep everyone, including the builder, happy. It seems young engineers are steering clear of building sites. I don't need a technician or a foreman, but we do need a traditional civil engineer. But these students from the University of Cottbus would rather not work on a site. They're more interested in design and planning. The indications are that they'll be able to choose their preferred line of work after graduation. In the summer I did an internship at a relatively big engineering firm. They called me to find out when I would finally be graduating. But an engineering degree is not limited to theory. An expert shows these students the practical side of construction. Hands-on experience with the welder's torch and bricklayer's trowel are mandatory. But Hagen admits he's not cut out to be a welder. Back in the lab, the students learn about the variable strengths of different materials. Sometimes that means seeing your theoretical calculations literally shattered. The university library, of course, has ample material to aid them in reassessing their figures. The mathematical side of the degree has proved to be the downfall for many students. Out of the 40-strong class Hagen Bascheid started with, only seven now remain. Some failed even at the third attempt. For these students, teamwork is crucial. The University of Cottbus is relatively small. That means there's more contact between staff and students and ultimately more support for the prospective graduates. They're actively encouraged to address any queries they might have. Here they've asked their professor to help solve a problem. Five years ago, the college restructured its operations. Now projects have to include complete construction tasks. It's a policy that boosts both students' motivation and their ability to tackle tough hurdles. People know that studying mathematics or physics and applying yourself gives you a solid profession that offers prospects for the future. These students have cleared the mathematics hurdle and they've already learned that all the effort is indeed paying off.